So you are starting a funded challenge. Well, would you like to know how long would it take you to reach a 10k payout? That is what I will answer in this video. Hello everyone and welcome. So in this one, I'm gonna try and calculate how long would it take you or your strategy to reach a 10k payout on let's say an FTMO challenge account. You can apply this to many different prop firms, but I'm using FTMO, it is the most popular. It has the two phases model. So phase one is 10% drawdown, 10% target. Phase two is 10% drawdown, but a 5% target. And then you have the funded stage. So the statistics that we will need for this video are your win rate, your average risk to reward, your average number of trades per month, and the amount that you're willing to risk per trade. The risk management that I advise for prop firms is usually 1% for phase one, 1% for phase two, and then either 0.5% or 1% for the funded stage. If you don't yet have these statistics for your strategy, well, get to work, do the back testing, do the forward testing, gather the data. It's very important, you must do it. You're not a serious trader if you don't know your statistics. Now, to do these calculations, we're not gonna use any fancy software. We're not gonna use any Excel files. We will use something that made my life a lot easier and that is artificial intelligence. Specifically, we will be using the Grok app from Twitter. You can also use ChatGPT, you can use pretty much any AI out there, but I noticed that Grok gives you a detailed breakdown of how it does the calculations and it gives you a pretty accurate result as well. So let's jump onto the PC and let's get started. Okay, here we are, this is the Grok website and this is the text that I'm putting in as instructions. So here are my trading statistics. This is the new strategy that I'm trading. It has to do with technical analysis and fundamentals and macroeconomics. It sounds complicated, it's actually pretty simple, but here are the stats. So the win rate is around 42%. The average reward to risk is 1.75 to one. The average number of trades per month is 10. And the risk per trade, I'm using 1% for phase one, 1% for phase two, and then 1% for the funded stage. Again, you can play with these numbers, you can put in your personal statistics, but this is what I'm using. And then we come to the most important part. So I'm interested to know how long it will take me to reach a 10K USD net profit. Again, you're gonna be failing some challenges. You're going to be losing some challenge fees, but that's normal, that's part of the game. So we wanna see payouts minus challenge fees, net profit has to be 10K, okay? So 100K FTMO, I'm using 100K FTMO, most popular. The challenge fee last time that I checked was 540 euros. Assume that there will be winning and losing streaks, okay? This is very important. So you need the var variability. We know that trading is not just a straight line up, okay? Trading has clusters of good luck and clusters of bad luck. I have some months where I absolutely crush it and then I have some months that are break even and I have some months that are pretty bad with just losses, okay? But at the end of the year, I am a profitable trader. So try to simulate real life trading conditions. Be aware that I first need to pass phase one and phase two in order to get to the funded stage. Assume that I don't take more than one trade per day so you can ignore the daily drawdown rule. This is something that I do in live trading I usually don't take more than one or two trades per day, so I am pretty safe when it comes to the daily drawdown rule, so we will just ignore it for this calculation. Be aware that you have to wait around two weeks to get a payout, and then you can continue trading on the account. So this is important because we may not make enough on the first payout to reach the 10K. And usually with some prop firms, when you request a payout, you need to wait one, two, maybe even three weeks to actually get it and for them to uh, bring your account back. So it's different with every single prop firm, but let's take two weeks as a general rule and then do a Monte Carlo analysis on 1000 attempts. This is gonna give us the best numbers possible. Okay, that's it for the instructions. Then just click send and we're gonna see what happens. So it's done and here you have all of the steps. So step one, understanding the FTMO process. Step two, strategy parameters. This is what I put in. Step three, the Monte Carlo simulation setup. Okay, you can follow all of this. Trade outcome calculation, uh, and then you have, again, phase one, phase two, 
funded stage and then 1000 iterations to get the most accurate results. Step four is simulation assumptions. Step five, running the actual simulation. And then we have step six, the results. So here we have the Monte Carlo simulation accounts for variability. So we, the average time is gonna be 10 to 12 months. Okay, so the average time with this specific strategy to get to a 10K payout, it's gonna be 10 to 12 months. You can see one to two months for uh, phase one and two, eight to 10 months in the funded stage. It is gonna be maybe one to two attempts per phase. And then you have the uh, range, so from eight, eight is kind of the quickest time and 18 months is the longest time that it can take you to reach this goal. As you can see, there's also a failure rate. So 20 to 30% of iterations fail at least one phase requiring restarts and additional fees. And then you have winning and losing streaks. So you have some recommendations here. Here is the final answer. Based on the Monte Carlo simulation of 1000 iterations, it will take approximately 11 months on average to reach a 10K net profit on a 100K FTMO account. So if you guys are trading prop firms, you definitely need a trade copier. It saves you a lot of time and time is money. I have personally been using Traders Connect over a year now. It is the best trade copier out there. I have my personal IC Markets account and then I have a couple of prop firm accounts. I have my Darwin X account. All of the trades just get copied over in an instant all of the lot size calculations get done instantly as well and my favorite feature for prop firms is the equity protector that means if you have a 100k ftmo account in phase one so you need to hit a 10 percent profit and you have a good trade your equity is running around a 110 K, Traders Connect will automatically close all of your positions so that you can pass the phase one and you don't need to monitor the trades. You don't need to be setting take profits. It saves you so much time. So if you guys want to trade multiple prop firm accounts through just one master account, check the link in the description of this video and check out Traders Connect. So the next thing I want to try, uh, I made an error here, so ignore this. The next thing I want to try is, let's say I definitely failed the funded account once before reaching this, okay? So you can do that. You can add in a sentence, assume that I will fail the funded stage at least once before reaching the 10K profit goal, okay? So let's see what happens with this attempt right here. Okay, so now it's printing the results and you can see uh, Grok even takes into account the profit split. So you receive 80% of the profits upgradable to 90%, uh, but yeah, we're gonna ignore this 90%. I think it's gonna stick to the 80% and you have the failure condition. You fail the funded stage at least once. So the account balance drops below the 90K requiring a restart for phase one. So let's say this happens, you know, your psychology is not in check. Sure, you have a good profitable strategy, but your psychology is just not great. So you pass phase one, pass phase two, get to the funded stage, but you fail the funded stage. And here we have the final answer. So based on this simulation with at least one funded stage failure, it will take approximately 14 months. And your range here is 10 to 22 months. So best case, 10 months worst case 22 months and i would personally say this is super realistic people think that they can do it in two to three months reach a 5k or 10k payout in two to three months on ftmo it's not realistic you know it's very tough to do you can definitely make a lot of money with ftmo but here you have the realistic numbers it takes away all of the fluff it takes away all of the guessing and if you know your statistics which you can get in your back testing okay it's it's very easy to do both in back testing and forward testing lately i've been a big proponent of forward testing and live testing it gives you the most accurate results so if you do that you can gather the statistics and you will know exactly what to expect. So this can also help with your psychology because if you're rushing things, if you have this idea that you need to get a payout in two to three months and you rush trades, you execute trades that don't really fit your plan, you're never going to be successful. But this should give you a general idea of what to expect when you start FTMO with your personal strategy. I know that you maybe don't want to hear this 14 months on average, it's more than a year, but you definitely need to hear this and you need to know this because that's how the profitable 
traders do it. They take it slow, they take at least a few months, maybe even a full year to get some payouts and to accomplish their goals. And again, this is a 100k account. If you buy the bigger account or if you're fully funded, the sum of payouts is gonna be bigger. So this assumes the most popular option, which is a 100k account. The final thing I wanna test in this video is a bit of a different strategy. So I wanna see what type of strategy would get to the 10k payout first. Is it a low win rate strategy? Is it a high win rate strategy? What is the trade frequency? So here we have a strategy that scalpers have, okay? So you have the win rate of 55%, average reward to risk is a one to one. So with this strategy, your edge is very small, very, very small, look at this, 55% win rate and only a one to one. But the number of trades per month is around 16. Risk per trade, let's keep it at a 1%. So this strategy has, I would say, a significantly higher win rate than the previous one, than my personal strategy and it has a much lower reward to risk. This is a minimal reward to risk that you wanna have in your trading. But for scalpers, it works. This win rate works as well. So let's see what happens with these trading statistics. Also, I just wrote down, don't assume that I will fail the funded stage once, let the probabilities play out. I just don't want uh, Grok to, to grab some of the instructions that I had from the previous test. So again, we're going through all of the steps. This is why I like uh, Grok, it gives you a breakdown of everything that's going on. ChatGPT doesn't really say what it's doing in the background, so you're not really sure. But here we have all of the steps, I'm not gonna bother you too much. Um, okay, and then we have the final answer. So based on this simulations, it will take approximately nine months on average to reach a 10K profit. So this is a bit quicker than the previous strategy, which should mean that a strategy with a higher win rate and a higher trades per month, so a higher trade frequency, is better because you're gonna reach your goals faster. So even if your edge is very small, as it is here, this is a very small edge, if your trade frequency is high, if you're taking, let's say, 15 to 20 trades per month, if you're scalping, that's great. I would say the most successful FTMO traders are actually scalpers because they can just grind profits every single month and then rinse and repeat the next month. The worst strategies for FTMO I personally found are the ones with a very low win rate, high uh, reward to risk and a very low trade frequency. Unfortunately, with those strategies, you're gonna fail the phase one, fail the phase two, fail the funded stage, quite a few times before you reach a payout. I know because I tested it here as well. So that's kind of the conclusion. You can see we tested two strategies and none of them reached the 10K goal in under nine months. So it's gonna take 10 months to a year. That is the average and that should be the reality. So my advice for you guys is back test, forward test, live trade, get your data one month of data is not enough you need at least six months of data to a year depending on if you're a scalper or a swing trader get your data put it in here this is absolutely free and then you will have realistic expectations your psychology will be in check because if you're at month six and you're still nowhere near a payout you will know I'm on the right track because I saw the probabilities play out and I saw how things should progress. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any ideas that I should test for some future videos. I have a very cool video coming up where I personally trade against ChatGPT for one month. So that test is near its end. The results are pretty crazy. I can't wait to publish that video. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.